pimples around your mouth? Or could it be possibly something else? There are a few things to consider. Sometimes we might just look in the mirror or we might feel a little, maybe some textual changes around our mouth and we can see some redness. You might be going, hmm, do I have a pimple? What's going on? Or is it something else? So how do we start to maybe look at some identifiers? What are some things that you can ask yourself? And maybe when is it time to maybe go see a professional and make sure that you're on track? So I think there's a couple things I think we can probably all agree on that if you do have a pimple, it will really look like a pimple. It means you'll be red, a little bump on it, and you might see a little bit of whiteness, which is called, uh, it's, like a, it's like a pustule, okay? So that means that you might have the urge to go and squeeze it. Don't, <laughs> okay? You do not want to do that. But that might be that evidence you're looking for. Or you might see some congestion around the mouth area, which will be also be pretty easy to detect. You might have what we call a comedone, or what to you out there it might be known as a blackhead. So that's when you just see like a darker mark and it could be just there from just congestion or your environment. And other times you might have like as a whitehead, which is just like a little white bump that looks like it's underneath the skin. Again, you're gonna wanna squeeze all of these things please resist, okay? And this could be all triggered by some things we probably all do ourselves without even knowing. One is if you're like a hand rester or a chin rester and you like put your hands around your mouth a lot, that's gonna cause a perfect environment for there to be a pimple to show up. So that is definitely something we wanna deter from, or if you catch yourself doing it, just pull away. Um, it could be even from, um, if some of you play musical instruments, Sometimes just that area gets friction and it can happen. It can cause some breakouts as well. Um, you can just from anything unclean around your face. <laughs> okay, so your cell phones. I think a lot of us use earbuds these days, but still anytime you're putting anything close to your face there. Uh, professions and people who need to wear a mask on a regular basis. This is another area because it's covered up and underneath is a perfect opportunity for you to get a pimple because inside it gets, um, it's like trapped, right? And there's some heat and there's a bit of moisture and this can cause a bit of irritation to the oil gland itself and then produce a pimple. Okay, so those would be all things that I think we can all agree on that you would actually start to see a breakout or a, a blemish or a pimple show up. And you can definitely manage those things. But when is it going to be something different? Well, there are conditions that you that are out there. One's called perioral uh, dermatitis, so being oral around the mouth. And this doesn't actually look like a pimple. It'll it look more like a dermatitis or more like a rash-like appearance, but it could have textures like little bumps. So we might think it is a pimple. And this could be triggered from, well, sometimes it's when you change your toothpaste. Sometimes it could be just irritants from other types of products like shaving cream. So if you you shave your face. This could be something that draws in that type of dermatitis. It could be from, believe it or not, just if you've changed your gum, funny enough, like your chewing gum, there could be like peppermints or cinnamons and spearmints in them that can actually agitate and aggravate the area producing this type of dermatitis. So if you've kind of gone through a process of elimination and maybe changed some of those things and it goes away, perfect. But if it becomes persistent with a perio, uh, perio oral dermatitis, there may be a point that you must go see a dermatologist to get under the care. So that's why there's a difference between we're looking at pimples and maybe a dermatitis and when to go see a medical professional versus when maybe you don't. Um, there's some other things that could be contributing to pimples or breakouts around the mouth area. There are the genetic factors. There's also hormonal factors as well. Okay, so there are a few things that are going on, but I think we can all agree it's a lot to do with our environmental factors and what we're doing around the mouth area that could be triggering these pimples. So before I continue with some great recommendations, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. So products I want to share with you today is uh, starting with cleansing. Of course, it's important, really important to make sure the area is nice and clean. And of course, you don't just have to clean that area. You can clean the whole face. Okay, it's all going to be beneficial to you. Our Clear Skin Probiotic Cleanser, really nice. A little bit of water. has a very soft and gentle foaming action to it, so you feel like like it's been scrubbed dub dubbed it's fantastic. Um, this could be used twice a day, just again, be mindful around your eye area. 
uh, if you're going to pick like a, a toner or if you love toning the skin, you can use the mangosteen um, toner is perfectly fine. Um, we have the lime refresh as well. So you have a couple of options to use for your toning category. Um, or if you want to go right down the essence route, uh, our, our Pure Forest one, our birch water, fantastic. And the my, uh, kombucha microbiome one as well. So you have a couple of uh, flex pieces there will be perfect for all skin types and if you're dealing with any of those issues. So you can go into masks, you know, I'm a big mask fan. Um, I highly recommend our eight greens of uh, fight out mask hot. So the hot means this is going to kick up a little bit of uh, energy in your skin. So you're going to have a nice deep warming effect and you will have a little bit of a temporary rosy glow to the skin, which should last up to about one hour after you've removed the mask. So that is uh, just some things to consider. And this one does work really well with a little bit of water when you do the application and 10 minutes is perfectly fine a couple times a week. Or you can actually localize this treatment around the mouth area. If you like, just remember that it is a spicy one. So it's going to bring some um, uh, rosiness to the area. So that's okay. Just know that it's not going to be even on the whole face. So that is there. Uh, for some of the leave on and some finishing things, I think there's some advantages that you can have here. You can go uh, for more of a deep dive in, in, in care for your skin as a moisturizer and use our Acne Advanced Clarifying Hydrator. This has got a little bit more punch to it. So if you do see more of the issue around the, the area, then this is going to get right at it quite quickly. And I find you do get a little bit of tingling with this one. Perfectly fine. Okay. So it's okay to get a little bit of that action and it will settle. And this easily can be used in the morning and at night. No problem. If you are a little bit more of a person dealing with large pores, okay. Your large pore family is going to be the Mangosteen Daily Resurfacing Concentrate. So this will be really nice. And if you love to wear cosmetics and makeup, this also acts as a fabulous primer. So that's could be something you could consider. And then the last one I wanted to share is our Clear Skin Probiotic Moisturizer. So it's in the same family as the Clear Skin Probiotic Cleanser. So if you are a big fan of that cleanser, you're probably going to be an extreme fan of the moisturizer. It is looking like it has a bit of a creamier finish finish to it, don't panic. It's going to apply very nicely and lightweight to the skin and be perfect for um, looking out for that area around your mouth. And that is probably the best routine that I can recommend um, to all of you. And I think the last, uh, one of the last things that's always really good to remember about anything besides if, if it looks more than a breakout, please go see a dermatologist. And if you want to address it in a different way, go see your esthetician.